was there. If I can have your attention, please, for a minute. Um, we're about to launch uh, the exhibition here, the first solo exhibition by Margaret Waters. You're all very welcome, first of all. My name is Niall Carroll, and about, I suppose, three years ago, I met Margaret for the first time, and Catherine. I went to the mother and toddler group with my baby son, Patrick, at the time, and there wasn't too many fellas going there. In fact, I don't think there were any fellas going no, at that time. I started the craze. I, I, I uh, broke the glass ceiling for men going to these things, so... Um, it was they were they were fantastic to me and to my kids and uh, we were delighted uh, to be part of the what's now the parent and toddler group at uh, St Mary's Hall in Irish Town and that's how I got to know uh, Mags and I remember one day Mags was telling me that she had met some men in a pub and they went to a field one evening oh. now, and I thought this was this was a very interesting woman <laughs> and the reason they went. The reason they went was for photography, which is the reason we're here this evening, because uh, she was part of a, a camera club. It's her passion in life. And she showed me many of the landscapes and uh, the images on her, on her laptop over that time that I've been bringing the kids to the mother and toddler group, and they were absolutely fantastic. And um, we can see from this exhibition this evening that uh, Mags' travel has taken her all over the place. We have images from Turkey, from Mexico, from Peru, um, some other places that, are, that I'm China, China that I'm missing as well, and really what it seems, what it says to me is, that even though it's a lot of it is the result of uh, travel, it's part of Max's journey, I think, in in the visual arts and in photography, and we've come to this stage of it, which is the first solo exhibition, uh, which I think Max can be really, really proud of because it's a, it's a fantastic collection, uh, as you can see from the images. Some of them would be familiar to to many of us who live around here. Uh, but would given a twist with a, a different sense and a, a different view, which which is marvellous. But there's also a lot of the exotic, and I suppose what really uh, is quite special for for many people will be the images of the kids from the Lares Valley Valley in Peru on the uh, the Inca Trail uh, that Max was on. And you can see you can see the kids. They're fantastic images, and it kind of goes to show that you know happiness isn't conditional on having a PlayStation because. Uh, I, I'm, I'm guessing that this is a very inhospitable part of the world. It's still a very inaccessible part of the world, and yet joy is joy on a child's face, whether it be here or whether it be in Peru. So I think for it's the kind of intersection of, of Margaret's professional life and her personal life, and some of those images as well. But they're they're more than complemented by some of the really fantastic and stun, stunning, stunning imagery of places that we might pass two, three, four times a day. Uh, and they just come up different when you, when you see somebody else takes their uh, an, an eye to it. Um, it's it's really it's really something else. So I hope you enjoy the exhibition, um, and I hope it is uh, a great. I know it's going to be a great success, and it is already by the turnout here. There are some thank yous I should probably do uh, first before we go uh, any further, and some of those I mentioned now: uh, Liz and Jill and the girls that work uh, for your <coughs> big support, and they were certainly working away this morning and today as is. Uh, the refreshments provided by Catherine, and Caroline, <laughs> and Eileen, uh, Marie for the invites, David did some last minute work as well, uh, Michael Ducey for the printing, and Jim Crotty, a big thank you to Jim for a lot of help with editing and selecting <coughs> of, of images and so on. Um, uh, but we also have uh, Bernard here as well, Bernard's going to speak in a few minutes time so we'll come to that shortly, but first Mike, would you like to say a few words? Very few words. <laughs> I thought Niall was going to do all my work for me. Um, honestly, I'm just flabbergasted at the turnout, and so many of you have travelled, and I'm so moved by it all. Um, really, um, I want to just reiterate everything Niall said, and the thank yous, and, and you know, every, everybody. The support I've had has been unbelievable. I just couldn't imagine I was going to get that. I'd have done it long ago. <laughs> um, Jim and Bernard. As, as Niall said, you know, just couldn't have, have, have done it without you both. Um, Catherine, who's such a great support to me, she said to me, I said to her the other day, okay, you know, I'd love to be able to stand up and make a lovely eloquent speech and thank everybody and just, you know, and she said to me, but man, look at the chance you have. And I said, for what? And she said, look at what you've turned out. She said, look at this, you can look at, look at uh, the way you can explain to Ned and the kids why you're never at home. You're always <laughs> gone. <laughs> and she said, the opportunity for the neighbours because they see you going in and out, in and out, all hours of the day and night with a brown bag on your back. And usually with strange men. <laughs> so this is my excuse and I'm sticking to it. But I really, really do have to, on the subject of strange men, 
Ned is not at all strange. <laughs> but I really do want to thank him. Ned, I'll kill you for being down right at the back where you usually are. I want the wine as well. In the background. Yeah. I just really yeah. want to say yeah. thanks, Ned. I couldn't do it without you. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, I'm going to introduce another strange man, but uh, <laughs> part of the international network of strange men with cameras. Um, and I know that you recently started the Care Camera Club as well, which is yeah. well, the last few weeks as well, so that's probably... And they're all strange men. They're all strange men as well. <laughs> but uh, I, I think the word now from, from Bernard O'Brien, if Bernard is here. Thank you very much. Um, for having me say a few words, which I'm very slow to do, as you oh, all know. Yeah. <laughs> um, the one thing, and I'm going to keep it brief tonight for a change, uh, the one thing I just want to say, I want to congratulate Mags, and on behalf of all the other photographers and all the other people, and there's a lot of photographer faces out there, um, it's a huge achievement. I remember when I met Mags first, the um, very first conversation I had with Mags was straight, straight away we hit it off on the phone because I just loved her personality and the way she spoke about photography. And I told her, actually, fine, come to my, one of my classes, one of the beginner's classes I was doing. And I said, but, I said, I'm, I'm 74 years of age. So she was in looking for me, 74 years of age. So I remember the first days of all the shoes that I was looking out for these Megs. So I think she was pretty happy I wasn't 74 years of age. Because I told her I was 21. <laughs> the one thing I will say is, is for those of you that, um, I mean, there's a lot of photographers here, both male and female, and most of us have partners. And I know that photography is, a, is a, I've always said it, and I've said it every class and every time I talk about it, is, it, for some reason or other, it tends to bring the finest of people together. There seems to be a lovely crowd. It brings people that normally have very, very settled in their ways. Okay, they have strange tendencies to go off with strange hours <laughs> of the night. We, we all get it from our partners from time to time because of the strange habits we have. But it, it is an absolute wonderful sport. A, a wonderful sport. It's, it's sports, and there's no question about it, but it's a sport. But it's a wonderful art. It's something I've been studying for 35 years, over 35 years, and I love it, and I love sharing it. And the one thing I love about Megs is her passion for it. It's just unending. She just loves it, and she's a learner. And the one thing I try and teach, when I was teaching Megs, going back, uh, was that the minute you stop learning and sharing it, then it finishes. Um, but I'm so proud of Megs and what she has done. Um, she said to me, going back a year, over a year ago, that she was thinking of doing an exhibition. And I remember explaining to her that an exhibition is just windows of your passion collective together and then all of a sudden I said it to her here today when I came in I says now Mags look it's a collection of all small little windows small collection to make one big exhibition I'm extremely proud of her as I am of the rest of the people that have come through my courses and uh, one thing I am looking forward to is being in here at least once or twice a year with each and every one of the photographers that have come through the age photography so that I can be just as proud and that they can produce work like this I think Mags this is an absolute credit to what you've done um, it's just wonderful. Everyone loves you. There's no question about it. Even my kids are up all night last night talking about what am I going to wear, going to Mags' thing. <laughs> you know, so everyone loves you. And it isn't just as a photographer, but as a person, she's got a warmth and, and, and a glow about her that just lights the whole place. And we as photographers are much better off because we know and love you. And I just want to thank you for everything you have contributed to photography. And I just hope that... I know you're going to keep it up because it's in your blood now, you're not going to stop. I just hope poor old Ned can tolerate it. <laughs> one, thing, one thing I will say to you, stay away from the strange men. <laughs> just one final thing. I, I didn't say thank you to the staff here at the library. Uh, that's I'm important to, that. to acknowledge them as well. Um, it's Absolutely. wonderful. Uh, and finally, it is, it's a, a thing of, 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 uh, of, of great achievement to be able to not just make this work and do this work, but to have the cojones, as the people in Peru might say, <laughs> to put it on view to, to anybody who cares to look at it. And that does take a bit of courage uh, and, and resilience. And you've done that, Max, and that's very much to your credit. And what a collection it is. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I, I forgot to mention Helen and Phil, Mags, uh, Mags's folks, her parents. She dedicates this exhibition to, uh, to her parents. And uh, a bouquet of flowers.
that's it. Uh, Max, I'd like to thank you very much for, for inviting me to be part of your, your launch. And likewise, I could left this strange man out of my thanks. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> so enjoy the exhibition thank and thanks so very much, much again, for coming. Everybody. Thank, thank you. you.